Hi, I'm Richard Myersko from Ocean Rodeo and Alula, and I'm here to talk about the new AA Series Glide Wing. We have some exciting new technologies in composite materials from Alula, and also some nice upgrade to the glide design. This wing uh, is entirely made with a Lula composite, the airframe and the canopy. And it's also our, our first launch into a fully sustainable product, which is very exciting. So what's really exciting about the new AA Series wing is the Alula composite canopy. It's coming in at 46 grams per square meter. When we develop the AirSX, the more we can lock in the material so it doesn't stretch, the lighter we can make it, so it's better. And less stretch means that the designed shape of the wing is held in both light winds and stronger winds. It makes the wing more controllable, faster, easier to use in a wider wind range. What the AirSX does to increase performance, weight is a massive uh, item on wings and kites. Anything we can do to reduce weight makes the, the wing easier to handle. Uh, it allows flagging out when you're just holding the wing by the front handle. It keeps the back trailing edge of the wing up, which there's nothing worse than riding waves with a wing that's dropping in your face. This new wing, it's, it's amazing. It'll stay flagged out in the lightest of breezes. We figured out how to pre-stress pre the material. The material is pre-sized. We then assemble it, and then lo and behold, the canopy is stable. It doesn't shrink, it doesn't expand. It's just perfect. And after quite a few years of tinkering, we managed to do a weave, which is very unique. It's a, it's a diamond pattern that's incorporated into our traditional warp weft weave. So they're incredibly light, but they're, they're very spaced out and they lock in the warp and weft. And that's why we call it Aris X. Canopy also features what's called a radial cut. This isn't completely new in the sailing world. It's used in spinnakers. It is new in wing foiling and kites, and what that does is we're aligning the fibers of the Alula uh, to line up with the maximum load, so we're really getting the most out of that material. And if you look at it, you'll see that beautiful radial cut. Uh, there's, there's a lot more effort to design a product like this, but the performance is just next level. So when you look at the new AirSX airframe on the AA Glide, you'll see that the material transitions out towards the wingtips into a non-X weave. That material is, is just pure Aris. And so it's got a little more stretch on the bias, a little more give, and what we're finding is that we're, we're starting to not use the same composite throughout the entire airframe. Depending on how hard you pump up the wing, having a little bit of flex in the tips allows the wingtips to spill out when you're getting an overpowered gust, while the center is nice and stiff, maintaining control. The AA Series Glide is currently fitted with our standard 80 micron polyurethane film bladders. These are the bladders we've been using for over 10 years. They're proven, tough, great UV re resistance, and uh, simple to swap in and out. You'll notice that when you look at the uh, glide wings that we have two inflate valves. We don't use a one pump type system and the reason for that is we believe it's important to be able to change the PSI between the strut and the leading edge. You pretty much always want your strut pumped hard. As hard as it says the uh, maximum PSI is on the strut. However when you get into the leading edge there are conditions where you want it stiffer and you want it softer. Another new material that you'll see on the AA Glide is the infill panel. That's the panel between the canopy and the strut. You'll notice a different looking material. That, that's called graphlite. It's also recyclable. It actually has the performance closer to a, a more stretchy traditional style of um, polyester ripstop. We, we're after that in that particular component because as the canopy is working and, and doing its thing and the strut is doing its thing with all the load. You don't want an incredibly stiff material there. You want something that's got a bit of stretch that returns exactly to its original shape after use. That's why we've put uh, graphite in that panel and it's, it's working extremely well.
With our matrix handle system, the removable handle system, there's the opportunity to switch in and out all kinds of different styles of handles. You can use the short carbon handle, the long carbon boom, or soft handles to protect the strut against any potential wear from those handle ends as you're moving them in and out and changing things up. We use our most durable material underneath the, uh, the handle ends. It's called Duralite. The outer surface is also the same material, incredibly tough and abrasion resistant. Every wing going forward for Ocean Rodeo will come complete with a new quick click leash. Most people are using a board leash. Maybe as you get more advanced, you drop the board leash, you learn how to recover your board using the wing while you're in the water. You then combine that with a wing leash and almost every time, especially when you're learning, you end up with a tangle between your wing leash and your board leash. There's nothing worse than being hog-tied by your leashes. So what the Quick Click does is there's a, just a small pin that you pull, there's a little rope lanyard on there, and you can actually pop the leash end out off of your wrist strap without having to undo all the Velcro, which is very tricky to do in the water. So we've really made a stand at Alula. We're, we're, not, we're not working really on anything that we don't think we can recycle or turn into something that can be reused. And uh, that's a tough decision because we could make our composites even lighter and stronger if we wanted to, and we, we can do that. But that often means bringing in raw materials that, uh, that destroy any chance of the circular economy of us getting those scraps back. The option for customers to bring in a kite or a wing or a pack that's come to the end of its use for life, life cycle, you know, we really want those products back because we can use those fibers and turn them into something new. So it's a big decision, it's a hard decision, but we've made it. We're just at the point where we see that these types of materials can't keep going into the landfill and it's, it's time, time for a fresh start and a sustainable future.